Hello, everybody, and welcome to Uncle Todd for Christ. Thank you for joining me on this Friday. Hallelujah. October 14th, 2022. It's about 3.45 p.m. Eastern Time as I speak, getting ready to head into the weekend. I don't know about you guys, what day or what time it may be, but regardless, I pray you're having a blessed day. If not, we can always make it one, guys. But thank you for joining me as we continue this daily devotional. And today, I love today's title, and I love the background. And I just I think this is going to be a good one. Follow the instructions. Follow the instructions. And our study scriptures today is Matthew 7, verses 24 through 29. And our lead off verse is Matthew 7, verse 24. And the Word of God says, Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. And the rest of those scriptures will tie that together and make sense. Again, that's Matthew 7, 24 through 29. And while you're in Matthew 7, go ahead and stroll around a little bit. Um, Joe Stow is our author today who writes this. One of my boyhood hobbies was building model planes. At first, I didn't think I needed the instructions. Definitely, yeah, definitely a boy. <laughs> I knew exactly how to put the model together. Oh, my, I don't think this is me. No, um, uh, not until I had glued a few pieces together did I realize I had skipped an important step, like putting the pilot in the cockpit. <laughs> Man, if anybody out there ever put together a model you know exactly what i'm talking about um it's easy to think we have no need for instructions in life oh boy only to later realize we've messed things up jesus advised that following his instructions is the way for wise people to build a safe solid and significant life thank you jesus but just getting the instructions isn't enough the key is to follow them. Whoever hears these sayings of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who builds his house on the rock. Those who don't follow the instructions are, as Jesus put it, Jesus put it, this isn't me, guys, foolish. So if you're giving it, okay, let me just continue, foolish. To the world, forgiving your enemies and giving to the poor may seem like a silly way to build a life, but take it from Jesus. It's the wise way. Hey, man, Jesus, you're so awesome. Hey, guys, this is, man, this is a good one again. This is, this is going to be another uh, spiritual checkup or to see, you know, see where your walk is. Does your walk, walk match your talk? We hear that a lot, you know, and uh, there's scripture in there, and I'll, I'll, I'll find the scripture, and I'll add it to the description of this video. It says to be doers of the word, not just hearers, not just hearers, but doers. Verse in there, you know, the kingdom of God is not simply in word, but in power. You know, don't talk it, walk it, demonstrate it, show it. Um, it it's one thing to sit and read the Bible every day, guys. You've heard me say it, encourage, encourage you guys. We have to read the word of God every day. But we don't just read it and, you know, set it back on the nightstand until the next day and say, oh, that was a beautiful message. Those are instructions, guys, like the background here, you know, got the. Poor, poor person behind me is picking the box up the wrong way. Let me get my head out of the way. Then, you know, this way up. And then it says, ever wish you'd read the instructions? Guy, this, the day is going to come when Jesus is going to return and take us home. Is it going to be in this lifetime? I don't know. It can be. Nobody knows the time or day. Jesus tells us that, only the Father. But how many of us are going to say, if I had only, I wish now, I wish now I'd have read the Bible. God has given us an instruction manual. And uh, some of you may have heard it before, Bible, B-I-B-L-E, basic instructions before leaving earth. And guys, it is right at our fingertips. We are without excuse, without, we have no excuse whatsoever not to under, it's, a, it's our owner's manual. You know, God is our own, and he's given us a manual on how we function and operate, just like your vehicle. The majority of people watching this video, if you got a vehicle, probably in that glove box is your owner's manual. Something goes wrong, something needs fixed. You, you flip through there and you find the answer and the solution and you fix it. That is exactly what God's word is, how to live this life, how to deal with things, how to fix things, how to cope with things. It's about, it's about everything. The Bible is so amazing that God that created us gave us an instruction manual on how to get through this life until he, until he brings us back home. 
So guys, again, you know, we are absolutely without, without excuse. Like, you know, I, I, I personally growing up and guys, I would like to say I'm better now, but I really don't know. I'm still a man and I'm still stubborn. And I like to think I can fix things and put things together without looking up the instructions. But I know that if I look at the instructions first, it's going to go a lot quicker, a lot easier, and it's going to be more successful. Praise God for Google and YouTube. You know, you need to fix something or find out something. You just type it in and do it. We can do that also with the Bible and life, guys. Technology, Google search it, YouTube search it, listen to some videos and things like that. But God has given us, he's given us the Bible, God, guys. So this is just a, this is a beautiful one. And Jesus says, you know, if we don't, if we have the Bible and we read it and don't follow it, we're nothing but fools. You're just a flat out fool. And ask yourself, how many fools are you surrounded, surrounded by daily? I guarantee they outnumber the wise ones. And guys, that's not me being harsh or ignorant or mean. That's me flat out saying what Jesus said. So, guys, you know what I'm going to say. Get alone. Please uh, read these scriptures. Meditate on them. Have God speak to you again. You know, maybe there's an area in your life where maybe you should go to the word of God a little bit more in situations in your life instead of trying to figure out on your own. Guys, I can tell you right now, I don't, I don't try to figure out anything anymore without consulting God. I mean, he's the owner, the manufacturer, the distributor. He's everything, giving us the uh, owner's manual, even comes with a warranty. There's even a, there's even a lifetime warranty that comes with that. So, guys, again, this is going to go under both categories, you know, spiritual checkup list and also how amazing, how amazing God is. I mean, we absolutely zero excuse, zero excuse to let this world take over and try to dominate us, guys. So until tomorrow, enjoy the rest of your day. Um, tomorrow being here anyway, Saturday the 15th, and we'll uh, see what the Lord says in. Love you guys.